Hello everyone, my name is Tuni, I am an email designer at Chameleon, and in today's tutorial, I will show you how to create responsive email background images. I took the example of this beautifully designed email by Hims and Hers. The template looks nice and polished, and at first glance it might even look easy to recreate. But the background image with the pills and the gummy bears, as well as the smartphone's position on top of the two colored blocks at the background, is more complicated than you think. If we simply add a background image to the whole email body and add content on top of it, the email will look messy and broken, as you can see here. So I'll walk you through the different steps necessary to adequately recreate Hims Elegant Design. Feel free to follow along on your Chameleon account or free trial. First thing you want to do is to prepare your images. Using a photo editor of your choice, in this case I'm using Photoshop, we start off by creating a simple white background image. The width of this first image should match that of your email. I recommend sticking with the standard 600 pixels. Next, we're recreating the side image with 100 pixel width and 400 pixel length. Keep the background transparent and simply add your illustration. Make sure it is placed at the bottom of your image. And finally, we'll create the last side image. Again, keep the background transparent, insert your illustration, but this time make sure to place it at the top and then export the three images. And now we'll start building the email. Using Chameleon, open an empty template and change the email body background color to beige. We've already designed and saved the first email block, so I'll quickly drag and drop it in the body of the email. Next. We'll add the sidebar columns where we will be inserting the images we've created. Drag and drop a box element and add top padding, then scroll down and switch on the background image option. Open the gallery and select the first image we've created earlier. From the position drop down list, select center bottom. Insert a columns element inside the box. Select the option Don't Reorder Columns since we want the um, both columns to appear next to each other even on mobile devices. In the left column, insert an image element and choose the second image we designed earlier. And in the right column, we will add the main product illustration used by Hims. Duplicate it to simply add a third column on the right. Double click to open the gallery and now insert the final image we've designed previously. We want to adjust the width of each column, so using the breadcrumb menu on top, select multi-column, then click on the left column and change the width from 200 to 125 pixels. Then lock it so that it doesn't change when we adjust the width of the two other columns. On the middle column, change the width to 240 pixels and switch on the fluid on mobile option that will automatically adjust the size of the column on mobile. And we've done the hardest part. Now we'll continue building the rest of the email following Hems design. Add an empty box inside, edit the paddings, and change the background color to light green. Insert a column element, select Don't Reorder on mobile, and adjust the spacing on desktop only. Drop an image in the left column, open the gallery, and select the icon. Then, drop a text element in the right column, and here we'll simply follow Hims example and copy paste our text, font style, and sizes exactly as they did it. Select the multi-column element and slide the handle to the left to adjust the size or the width of the columns. Then again, lock the column's width. Duplicate the box three times and change the content of each one. And here we've proceeded with the email design following Hims version. I've added the download button, um, download app buttons, and dragged uh, the email footer that I've created uh, earlier and dropped it at the bottom of the layout. And now the most exciting part, we get to see how the email design looks like on mobile. And on desktop. It looks perfectly responsible and professionally designed. The background images are effortlessly adapted to the screen sizes and device type and do not look broken. 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it instructive. Feel free to request tutorial ideas in the comments section and I hope to see you on our channel soon.